the issue the issue honorable do raised on increasing the 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 ferry getting another ferry and increasing on what is there and the timing is very very important because it will help us for people going to Lango region, even going to Acholi. Because you just go, when you reach Congo, you now branch back to, to the main road and go to Kamdin and continue to Gulu. Out from Kamdin, you can also go to Western Nile. So that would be one of the best solutions so that you're not limited because you're interfering with the animals. They are telling you, seven to seven don't move in the night it is for your own safety you're interfering with animal right yes uh, honorable fedra um thank you madam speaker um i again rise on your communication in regard to the upcoming weather conditions that are within this country we are going to be faced with the harsh rains and the karuma bridge reconstruction allow me make these three observations one Karuma Bridge and Park are the route to West Nile, which I use very often. And indeed, at this point, I want to give thanks to government that our government in the past few years comes up with alternatives as far as the bridge infrastructure in this country is concerned. And if ministry now makes a decision that Karuma is stopped for large uh, vehicles and an alternative goes through the park, this is coming from the fact that a new bridge has just been constructed across River Nile, that is in Para, and we are glad that this has been opened. However, Madam Speaker, as alluded earlier on, Pakwachi Bridge connection to Gulu will be faced with these heavy rains once uh, River Tangi floods again. Why am I saying so? The junction between entry to Noya Road going to Gulu will automatically be cut off. We've experienced this earlier on before, and the works done on Noya Road is not as to the quality expected when these rains come. So my fear is, will the people of Gulu not be cut off if this alternative route is used for them in the event that the rains come? The second issue is, I'm glad to the bus companies we have in Northern region. The fares outside, Nile Star has not increased any fare to use the alternative route. And this is crucial for us. And I want to urge the bus companies within that they shouldn't take advantage of this calamity that has befallen on Karuma so that the travelers can be able to travel through very well. The last one is, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Uh, Honorable members, let's not repeat.